Hey guys, John here. Today we're in Diva, and we're going to make a nice cool lead with the sync option and also some nice phasing going on. So let's go to a new preset here and increase our cutoff so we can kind of hear some stuff going on. Take number three out of the mix. So we have something kind of like that. And let's kind of change this frequency here and turn on sync. So... So we can see we get those little spikes inside that waveform. We can back off the first oscillator just a little bit. And for this, let's change the transpose to zero. And let's dial in some of our envelopes here. Let's switch these out. And for a cutoff, let's kind of bring it a little bit down and give the envelope two some modulation. And a little bit of release as well. And kind of the same thing with the amp envelope. Maybe some resonance might be nice. Okay, we're in a pretty decent spot for this here. Now let's check out the effects and let's go to our phaser here and let's go to from stone to flange. Put on some sync and increase some of our feedback. We almost get that kind of hollow -y kind of sound there. Maybe a little bit more release might be nice. Now let's add some chorus here, and let's go a little bit less in the mix here, increase our depth, and drop down our rate a little bit. And changing the center can be actually kind of nice, too. Okay, so now we need to do some EQ because this can get really gross because of all the stuff we have going on here. So let's turn on our EQ and then let's load this up here, go to a new preset. And we can high pass this at least up to like 80 or 90. Okay, so now we can add another voice that might be kind of nice. And let's go to over here and change it to stack voice and kind of spread these out a little bit. Keep in mind, changing a lot of the texture here can be with the cutoff, the envelope amount, and also the decay on the second envelope. So we do need to compress this. The sound can get kind of out of control here. So let's open up our compressor, go to a new preset, and maybe go something with like four to one, something like that, and kind of drag down the threshold. So now one of the last final things is adding some reverb to really open it up. And if you find that you're still getting some of that low end mud here, you can always go back to our EQ, maybe high pass it just a little bit more. It's always fun, even if you want to, you can always add an ARP here, that might be kind of interesting.
too. Depending on how you want to play, you can always go with the ARP rod or just... Kind of just playing it like that. And the top end's kind of nice and fun to play with as well. takeaway is to sound like this especially using a lot of phasing going on here and flanging we do want to use some eq to our advantage because it can get really gross once things kind of start moving around and phasing with each other but yeah if you want to get this patch for free there's a link in the video description below and it can be yours thank you so much for watching hopefully you, <laughs> you learned something and play around with the phaser a little bit more i think if i'm not it kind of gets lost a little bit every so often. So yeah, thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next video.